Welcome back to EA Sports. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski getting set to call all the action here. Ray always feels like easy games for us to call here for these Atlantic Division games. Not much to get up for. It's They're always contested tightly. The division has been top heavy for the last couple of seasons and these points are really important every time they meet. The official's made his way to center ice and we are ready to get things underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Sends the pass over. The Wolfpack have it in their own zone. Up along the wing. Grabs control of it at the point. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. The Bears win possession here in the open ice. Hershey's got the puck against the boards. The Wolfpack have taken possession in their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Takes the feed. Slows him up on the play, and that's going to cost him as the officials caught that one. I know he doesn't like the call on this one. Nobody does, but I think he has a case here, right? Well, it looked like the penalty was going to be called, and then it got sold even more so. So that's a hooking call that he doesn't really like. And their first chance to use the man advantage. Obviously, goals have been hard to come by. Here's the first power play of the game. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Stop that one. They move the puck out of harm's way. Hartford's looking to break out. Pilo's caught up with the hook, and the official saw it. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Here's the official call. The Wolfpack have been handed two minutes for hooking. I guess at a certain point, you got to let the guy go, but he worries that he's out of position, so he tries to slow him down with a hook. Pretty cut and dry call. A little four-on-four four coming up here. Well, the faceoff, of course, is pretty critical. You're not going to have as many scrums four on four, so if you get the puck first, you're gonna get it and hold it. What a steal in his own end. Hartford's got the puck in the defensive end. Nice poke check. Dished on over to Pilo. He got all of that hit. Oh, a little too much stick work, and the officials with their arms in the air. Let's see what the official says here. Hooking the call and maybe a little sell job along the way? A little bit, but the player's got to move his feet. As soon as you stop, if it's even close, you're going to get now. Four on three as both sides step into the face-off circle. This is by far the most dangerous power play there is. I think it's even more dangerous than a five on three. The penalty killers can't deny where the one-timers come from. Snapper from the slot! That's gloved by Copley. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end and manages to clear the zone. Hartford's got a hold of it along the wall. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed, and we are still tied. Too passive, not aggressive enough. The puck gets moved around the outside of the penalty killers. Really doesn't become a dangerous power play. Hartford's got some room to do something here on this power play as their penalty expired. Slides the puck over. And there's the save. And the puck clears the zone. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. Well, they'll have to regroup after that. The power play doesn't cash in. Opportunity lost for them. From the left side, takes it at center. Quick feed to Brodzinski. Moves the puck along the half wall. From behind the net. Handles it along the blue line. Takes the pass. From the slot. Nowhere for that shot to go through. 
He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Dumps it into the other end. Passes it over to Carr. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Can't hang on after that hit. Handles the puck. Hartford's got it in the offensive zone. Takes it into the slot. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. The Wolfpack have possession along the boards. Oh, a tough break for the shooter as it goes off the inside post and stays out. Yeah, close is great, James, but I'd like a goal here. The game still stays scoreless. Through center along the wing. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And he regains control of the puck. Battle along the boards. Picks up the puck in his own end. Long pass into the neutral zone. Hartford's got a hold of the puck. And he slides it quickly to Thompson. In all alone! Denies him! Oh, excellent stop by the goaltender. He read that perfectly. Thompson's been shaking his head since the shot hit the goalpost and deflected away. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We've still got zeros on the board. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Point-to-point -point pass. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Great poke check on the reach. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. The setters will glide into the dot. Scarbosa's one possession. Takes the feed from off the wing. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. The Wolfpack have gained possession off the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Takes the pass from the left wing. Officials arms going up in the air. He caught that hook too. Here comes the officials call. The Wolfpack have to deal with two minutes in the sin bin for hooking. It doesn't take very long to get on the wrong side of the plate. You're a step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. Hey, here's a power play and the game is scoreless. What a nice opportunity for them to kick the other team. Scores! You think that there's a one set way to score in the power play? You find out in a hurry, it doesn't really matter where the puck goes. As long as it moves quickly, you're gonna have a chance. So many ebbs and flows to a playoff series. It's kind of nice to get the first goal. Give your team the upper foot here early on. The Bears are now in the enviable position of playing in front. Once you get in front, you can maybe dictate a little bit about the way the game will be played, and that's a good place to be. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Gets the puck over to Nieves. Skates to the crease. Here's a chance behind the net. An easy glove save made by Copley. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Molson's been on fire lately. His point streak's starting to stretch out. This is when you feel like you'll score any game. Hartford's had the scoring opportunities, but they still find themselves behind in the first. From one point man to another. The Bears take possession in the defensive end. Gains control of the puck here at the blue line. And now he tries to get it across to Fontaine. Oh, that just goes wide! You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Snaps one on net, completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. The Bears are on the attack. With the stop. Deflected away, nice defensive use of the stick there. 
across the line from center. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. Brzezinski stick handling in his own zone. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. The Wolfpack have taken to the offensive attack. Shuts them down. Jones is slowed down with the hook, and the officials are calling for a delayed penalty. Here comes the call. A little too much stick and body hooking up on this one, hence hooking on the goal. Yeah, I, I didn't think this was a difficult call for the official to make at all. Hartford's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Down one, a chance to tie on the power play. What a great chance for them here. But you can't stress. You have to be confident and aggressive, but don't force anything. 20 seconds. Well past the midway mark of this period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Hershey's got a hold of the puck. Copley's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Hartford still down here in the first despite the multiple scoring opportunities. Puck has dropped and we are back underway. Gets it out of his own end. Hartford's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Keeps hold of the puck. Hartford's on the attack. Pass back to the point. And that one's blocked. Dismissed that chance. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Hershey's got the puck along the boards. Trying to get back on the attack now. Looking to knock it out of the zone. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Handles the puck from the left side. And he was slowed up. Hooking looks to be the call as the official's arm goes up in the air. The Bears have been called for hooking. You get caught when you don't move your feet. Now you've got to reach out to slow the player down. He's in the box. Rightly so. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Coaches love predictability, and the one thing that this power play has been tonight is unpredictable. You don't know what's happening from one minute to the next. It's just been an average night for them. Tremendous use of the body on the play. From the neutral zone now. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Here's a chance! Comes up with the stop. Copley's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. Late goings of this period. The Bears have taken a 1-0 lead. Hershey's got possession here in their own end. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Can't catch up to the pass. Well, the endless slew of penalties that have been handed out continues here as yet another one is being dished out. The Wolfpack have to serve two for tripping. Fishing around trying to get to the puck. Unfortunately for him, he sweeps out his feet. Uh huh. A little four-on-four four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. I think the best strategy is to be aggressive on the four-on-four. Four. Don't wait for the other guys to make a mistake. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Hershey's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expired. Here he is in front! Oh, you can't miss that! Uh, somehow I got 408, James. You don't get any if you don't hit the net. Get it on target, man. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Move into the middle. Knocked away. Hershey's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Great defensive effort with the strip. Quick shot. Misses. Oh, man, I thought he had that one, James. He doesn't miss by much. Can't get it to go. Tees him up, and he says no. No. 
Hartford's down, but not out. They've had chances. They just haven't capitalized. Horn sounds, and that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. A lone goal is the difference so far through the first 20. It's a 1-0 game. Look for our two goalies and bosses located throughout the concourse. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. Teams back on the ice after the first intermission. Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski ready to bring in the call for period number two. Hershey's got the puck to start the period. Not a lot of time left, though, on this power play. Gives them nothing in front. If you could rerun that, that hit was big. Sometimes you think you've got room, but the ice closes off. That's a big hit there. And he's got to get up slowly. Hartford's looking to convert on some of these chances. They've had plenty of opportunities, but have been snake-bitten thus far. Jones jumps out of the box, and we are back to even strength. Immediately, this becomes really frustrating, but as they go back to the bench, the power play will look at that and say, we did a lot of good things. We do that again the next time, we're going to score. He says, let's get physical on that play. The Wolfpack have the puck against the boards. With possession along the wall. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Here they come, three of them, all alone. What a stop on the breakaway. He waits for the first move, lets the shooter make it, and then shuts it down. Yikes, this is going to look ugly on video. A three-on-one, yet the goalie bails them out. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Hershey's ahead, one nothing. The Bears win the faceoff. Takes the feed. And the puck departs the zone. Quick pass to Carr. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Hartford's got it in their own zone. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. The Wolfpack have possession at center. The Bears gain possession along the wall. Hershey's got it against the boards. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Misses! Get it on the cage. Make the goalie do something with it. Brzezinski's taking it from his own end. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And we've got a two-on-one. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Hershey's got it in their own zone. Hartford's got the puck along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Jones. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he... Doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. And a poke check knocks the puck away. From the boards, he takes that pass. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot. Nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. Hartford's looking to break out. And now it's over to Brodzinski. Right up the gut. Here they go. On the doorstep, deflected in front. Goalie makes the save. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And let's see what the call is. The Wolfpack have been called for tripping on the play. Reaches in with his stick and gets nabbed for the trip. The Bears send their man advantage unit out once more. They've already scored on the power play tonight. They'll get another chance here. James, I don't think they have to change anything with the way they go about it. Back to the blue line. Nice pass. Oh, that's got to hurt. What a play. Hartford's got the puck at the defensive end. 
Tries to make that cross ice speed. The Bears have it from their own end. And they fail to go tape to tape. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Hartford's across the blue line. Hershey's looking to break out of their own end. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. The Bears go to work on offense. Denies them on the play. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Hartford's back to even strength as they've killed off the penalty. And nobody's going to be very happy about that one, James. No real chances generated. No momentum game. Just a couple of minutes roll off the clock. And a strong effort on that play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Hartford's won the draw. Moves it quickly over to Brodzinski. Good check. Frees the puck up. Strong defensive effort. The Bears have it against the wall. Here's a shot. Big time stop there. Sends a pass over. Jostled off the puck. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Denot scores! On the rebound, he pots it! The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. Past the halfway mark of this period, we are all tied up in this one. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Sends it in on the attack. Takes control of the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Gets the puck in deep. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. Oh, he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Receives the pass. Handles the pass up to the middle of the ice. Scoops up the puck here. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the choppers on that play. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. Hershey's got it along the wall. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. The Wolfpack have it in their own zone. And it's a quick pass to Thompson. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Scooped up along the wall by Pilon. Moves it to Strong. Hershey's moving it into the offensive end. Hartford's got a hold of the puck. The Wolfpack have possession along the boards. Thompson's going to play it against the half wall. Hershey's got the puck in their own end. The Bears played along the boards. Big time stop. Kincaid's tracked that puck so well, he's right there to make the save. If you're going to make the save as the goalie does here, you've got to read the play and have the reflexes to execute the save. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Hartford's won the face-off deep in their own end. Into the offensive zone. Takes the puck at the point. Picked up along the boards by Jones. Hershey's in transition. Moves the puck. Just a simple save by Kincaid. From point blank. Oh, and another big stop. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Center down in front. And that one's broken up. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Can't maintain possession. And he can't hang on after that hit. The Wolfpack have taken possession along the wall. 
Headman pass. Sharp breakout pass there. Turn that chance aside. Hershey's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Sends the pass over. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moved out in front. Scores! Breaks the tie! I wasn't sure if anybody was going to be able to start to change the momentum of this tight game. It's hard enough to be the goalie when you have to stop the shot. This thing's like a rubber ball. It's bouncing all over the place and somehow ends up behind the goalie. That's a tough break for him. The Bears have gone in front here late in the second. What are you seeing down there, Ray? Well, I think they've played a good game, James, but they haven't been able to pop it open. But now you have a lead. Don't go try to make it two and three goals, but don't be conservative. Play the same way. Just keep your focus on getting to the intermission with the lead. Hershey's got the puck against the half wall. Shot in front. Nothing doing. Just misses the net, but really, the oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Hartford's in now. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Stopped by the goaltender. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. The good old-fashioned hook has sent him off to the box. He's almost in the right position, but he's got to give him a little hook. When he gives that tug, he goes to the penalty box. It gets called every time. Another chance here on the man advantage. They deserve this power play. The last couple of shifts. They've been threatening for the tying goal. Finally, they earn a power play. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. They go on the attack from the left side. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And that one stopped. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Hartford's got a hold of it along the wall. Ahead of steam now towards the front. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Here's a short pass to Nieves. Hershey's grabbed a hold of the puck. And now he moves it to Pilo. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Period comes to an end. And lucky us, we've got one more period to go in what has been a fun one this evening. Fans, take a look to the sky. The whole team is definitely loaded with prizes headed your way all intermission long. Don't go anywhere. Third period is coming up, and it's coming up next. You're having a great night. Two periods down. One more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. Nieves wins it in the dots. They go on the attack through center. Manages to hang on. Hershey's got a hold of it against the wall. Impressive job by the penalty-killing unit to keep that one-goal lead intact as we are back to even strength. You work so hard to get yourself back in the game. You earn a power play, and then you fail to cash in. So they still trail by one. The game will continue at even strength. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Hershey's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Hartford's got it in their own zone. Over the line they come. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Up the neutral zone now. Grabs the puck. Feeds it up ahead. Knocks the puck loose. Nice zone entry from the left. Quick shot. 
We got a delayed call coming up here as the referee raises his hand. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. And the officials stop the play. Let's see what the call is. The Wolfpack have been handed a two-minute penalty for interference. The officials will let a little bit of interference go. Not that much. That's a pretty easy call. Power play unit going back to work. At the morning skate today, they were really working on the power play quite extensively. The power play coach has to be satisfied with how they've looked tonight. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Hershey's gained possession along the boards. Excellent stick work on the play. Slides the puck across to Jones. Hartford's got it across the line. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Ray, it looks like tripping. It's amazing how coaches get angry with a tripping penalty, but they don't seem to say much if it's a boarding penalty. It's still two minutes. Two is two, yeah. One just seems lazier, though, isn't it? Yeah, well, maybe I don't want to hit anybody, and I take a <laughs> tripping penalty. Safety first. The Bears once again send out their power play unit. Hey, you got a chance to score twice here on the five on three. Attack early. Maybe you get one quickly. The Bears carry it along the wall. Unloads one. Answers the call with a big save. Hartford's been the better team but not necessarily boasting the better goaltender trailing early in the third. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Tip shot comes up with a big pad save to deny. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Battling for it along the boards. Tries to the paint, big save. Kincaid's able to make the save as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Bears are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Hartford's won the draw. The Bears gain possession along the wall. Centering pass, overshot it. Sometimes the only place you have is up over the goalie's shoulder. Sometimes you airmail it. And the penalty killing unit doing work. Excellent kills. We're both back to even strength. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. To the low slot. Nice save from point blank range. Into the attacking end. Hershey's got control of it now from their own end. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Takes a shot, gets in front of it. Copley's gonna cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. Kincaid's right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. Nearing the midway mark of the period, the Bears lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Hartford's won the faceoff. Makes the save, right positioning, looked easy. Copley's got it, and he'll elect for the whistle. Jumped on it pretty quickly there, and like everything else tonight, he's really looked in control. He's had an excellent game. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Hartford's got it in the offensive zone. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Takes the feed. Here's a chance. Sends it across. Denies him. He got all of it. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Steps across the blue line. The Bears played along the wing. And that's broken up. Slides the puck over to Thompson. Can't find his man. Stays with it. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. 
Moves around along the half wall. Loose puck battle along the boards. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Hartford's moving it along the wing. Centering pass. Turns it away. Big play inside the defensive zone. Hershey's got the puck along the boards. Moves inside. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. Coughs it up on the play. Hartford's moving it up the ice. Quick feed to Brodzinski. That goes wide. Sends the pass down low. Hartford sliding the puck behind the net. Takes the pass. The Bears have it against the wall. Slides the puck over. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Kincaid's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Hershey's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Slides it back to the blue line and makes a save. The setters will glide into the dot. Steps in and takes the puck. Dumps it in. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. Hershey's got it in their own zone. And they it back to him. They've got the defense outnumbered. Shot deflected, and that's stopped by the goaltender. Great save to stay with it. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. Hartford's got a hold of the puck. Takes the feed. On the attack along the boards. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. Trying to get back on the attack now. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Grabs it in his own end. Handles the puck. The Bears move it in. The Wolfpack have gained possession off the wall. Scoops up the puck now. Sends the cross ice pass. Puck moved over to Nieves. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Pokes it away in his own end. Gains the zone through the middle. From the point, looks to make something happen. Just slide to the net. Hartford's looking to break out. Not able to connect. Icing the call, and you can't really stall much these days for a face-off, No, they you? changed this rule a little bit ago, a couple of years, where the defensive team would get their first guy kicked out on purpose, and then the other guy would fiddle around till he went in. Now it's just a warning, and they drop the puck right away. More than half the frame has been played here. It's a 2-1 game. Halos won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Those face-offs after icings are important. Now you've got the puck, and they're a little tired. A big face off here inside the offensive end. Hershey's got it and they're on the attack. Nice pass. Quick shot. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a reaction. Kincaid's probably the one reason that this game is the way it is. His save percentage has been outstanding. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Hartford's got the puck. Quick pass to Brodzinski. Good hit to bump him off the puck. And now it's grabbed by Pilon. Pinned up along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Sprong. Puck scooped up by Jones. Into the offensive end now. Hershey's looking to break out of their own end. Sends a pass over. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. From the blue line, they take control of it. Pass to Brodzinski. That pass doesn't go. 
The Bears move the puck in the defensive zone. Schilling's got it into offensive territory. And now he moves it quickly to Johansson. Can't connect. Up along the wing. Puck dumped in. Hershey's got a hold of it along the wall. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Along the half wall with the puck. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Man, the teams have been going at each other since the very beginning of this hockey game. Nobody is back down. The body contact level has stayed extremely high. The Bears lead it late in this third period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Receives the pass. Hartford's got the puck in their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. From his own end, he picks up the puck. The Bears have it now. Moves the puck. Nearing the final minute of the third. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Now a quick pass to Thompson. Down the right side and into the zone. Cuts to the front. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. The net is empty. A big draw here looming inside the offensive end. Hartford's won the draw and they'll go to work. Takes it right in the chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. The net is empty. The extra attacker's out and a huge face-off looming. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Jabs the puck away. Great defensive stick work on the play. Hershey's got a hold of the puck. Gains the zone. To the empty net. Blocked in traffic. Sends the pass over. Referee singling delayed penalty. Looks like hooking will be the call. And there's the whistle. Let's hear the official call. Molson's going off for hooking. As soon as he stops skating, he has to reach out with his stick. Parallel to the ice, it's going to get called most every time. What a chance as the power play unit goes back to work. The Bears win it in the defensive zone. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. One pass and out, good play. Stops him cold. The centermen glide into position. is where we sit after this one in this series. It's amazing, James, you play this long season and then the playoff series goes pretty quickly. You want that lead, they have it now. Another reason why we love playoff hockey. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Good night.